pounding away at a tree back with a wooden hammer. Paul Bukenya has been doing this for the last 50 years. Making back cloth has been a practice in his family for over 300 years. Way back, the back cloth was a traditional attire, especially for the kings and royals. The fabric became popular and a key economic activity to many households at that time. With the introduction of cotton and other modern fabrics, back cloth production slowed and eventually faded out, reducing its usage to particular culture and spiritual functions. Nevertheless, artists are moving to revive the fabric. They believe back cloth is the answer to climate change. The village where I come from in Masaka has a solution to the global village in the form of a tree that produces back cloth. The, the tree is renewable. It gives you back for about 60 years and it stays for over 100 years. So as an artist who has traveled, and I have experimented with other materials. I'm thinking about what am I going to pass on to generations. Back cloth is harvested from the inner bark of a soft fig tree, locally known as mutuba. UNESCO declared the fabric a masterpiece of intangible cultural heritage in 2005. Back cloth is gaining momentum in the realm of contemporary art and design. The tree fabric is finding its way into new markets as artists and designers look for new material to propel their work. From runways to online shops, designers are incorporating back cloth into their looks because of its sustainability and longevity. I picked up interest in back cloth when I was still painting because I use it a lot when I'm painting. It's a fabric that is unique. When you look at it, it may seem so hard to work with, but then once you start working with it, once you learn the technique of using it, it's an amazing fabric. Atal uses the fabric for clothing, decorated with patterns or mixed with other textiles. She wants back cloth to be a fashion identity for Uganda, but she is worried that the tree from which back cloth is produced may get extinct. Looking for a place where they can buy it from is going to be a big challenge because most of the back cloth now producers have been booked. All the back cloth, like maybe for the next like two years, all of it has been booked. The demand for back cloth is however good news for skilled craftsmen like Paul Bukenya. On the other hand, Uganda's emerging designers and artists remain hopeful that back cloth will be the next environmentally friendly fabric. Michael Balike, CCTV, Kampala.